Hello everyone, let's continue on to section 1, getting started in PanOS 8. Welcome to PanOS 8. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at PanOS 8. I want you to become familiar with the web user interface. So when it comes to creating those rules, those objects, applying your policy, you're going to know exactly what you're going to be looking for as far as administration and management goes. We're also going to be taking a look at the ACC or Application Command Center tab as well as the Monitor tab. Those two tabs will provide you visibility onto your firewall traffic. You need to know what, what's going on on your network, right? It's not just setting up a policy and forgetting about it. You need to see what's actually being applied to how the user traffic is actually looking from the firewall standpoint. So those two tabs are going to be very important to understand that you're properly monitoring your firewall and you're enforcing the rules that you just configured. I'm going to do a lot of troubleshooting and don't worry, we're going to go in covering those two topics. Those are very big topics because most of the environment that I've been working with, they set and forget. And I want to make clear to everyone that is listening to this video that security is not set and forget. Security, it's a constant improvement. You never set something and forget about it. So that's why those two tabs, ACC and monitoring, are going to be very important. Okay, so let's get started. In this video, we're going to start looking at the PanOS web user interface. We're going to be discussing the object tab, the policy tab, the network tab, and the device tab. Each one will have a specific function and specific settings so you need to become familiar with all those sections so you can properly manage and configure your Palo Alto firewall. So, okay so let's take a look at the first tab we're gonna go into the object tab and the object tab we're gonna take a look at the addresses the services and the object groups as one of the biggest I would say most important items on that particular tab that you're gonna be configuring on a day-to-day -day basis. Alrighty, let's get started. Let's go ahead and log into the unit. I just deployed this as a brand new Palo Alto virtual machine. We're just going to type our username and password and it's configured by default. Once you log in onto the firewall, you're going to see a message saying that you got to change that admin credential, right? And make sure that you do. Please do yourself a favor and change that admin password. I'm just going to go ahead and log in. Once we log in onto the firewall, we're going to be presented with the dashboard. On the dashboard, you're going to start seeing general status on your unit as far as CPU usage, memory usage, information about the management interface, what version it's the firewall running, as well as system logs. So you are going to have visibility into this platform. But don't worry, we're going to learn this in another section. Next on, let's go ahead and move into objects. In the objects tab, we're going to have the addresses and this is where you're going to have to configure those addresses in order to assign them to your respective security policies. In your addresses you're going to be able to add IP addresses, individual IP addresses or most commonly known as host addresses, subnets and ranges of IPs. So with that said you're going to have the option to create either multiple individual IP addresses and nest them onto groups. So you have the option to create individual objects and then add an object group and then nest every single address object inside of that. Same with services. So if you have a individual ports, but you want to classify it as a set of ports based on your application and your environment. So if you have a custom application that only talks on those ports, you create those individual service objects and then you create a group and nest everything inside there. We also have the security profiles. On the security profiles, you're going to be able to configure the next generation firewall features. So if, for example, you want to have your traffic inspected for antivirus, you just create a security profile right there, and then you attach that to your policies. All right, let's go ahead and continue exploring PanOS. Let's click on network. In the network, we're going to be able to configure the interfaces. Your layer two interfaces, layer three interfaces, assigning IP addresses to those interfaces, this is where you're going to be able to configure it. Same with zones, inside, outside zone, virtual router. So where you're going to be adding your static routes or turning on BGP or SPF as your dynamic routing protocol if you're using it, this is where you're going to be configuring it. 
same with uh, tunneling. So all your IPsec tunnels are going to be configuring from this particular session. Same with uh, Global Protect. So Global Protect, this is Palo Alto's SSL VPN service. So all of your users are going to use Global Protect to connect firewall. Okay, so moving on, let's click on device. Let's take a look at the device tab. On the device tab, you're going to have the management and operation settings on your Palo Alto firewall. You're going to have the option to configure high availability. If you want to cluster two Palo Alto firewalls into a cluster, this is where you're going to be configuring that. On the setup tab, you're going to configure your management interface. So the interface that we're using to administer this firewall, this is where you're going to be configuring that. In operations, you're going to do your normal reboot and shutdown of the device. So you need to properly or gracefully shut down your Palo Alto firewall. Basically, in the device tab, you're going to have also the option of doing your admin accounts. So if you want to provision admin accounts, you are going to be able to do it from this section. In the user identification tab, this is where we are going to connect Active Directory to your Palo Alto firewall. So if you want to have user-based authentication from directory service, this is where you're going to be configuring that. Or if you have local users that are not necessarily part of AD, you can create local user accounts in this particular session in the local users tab. Also, this Palo Alto firewall, when it comes to dynamic updates, this is where you're going to be executing those dynamic updates onto your unit. Um, so the device tab is mostly composed of all the management operation settings on your Palo Alto appliance. Alrighty, let's go ahead and move on. Uh, let's take a look at the policies tab. In the policies section on your Palo Alto, this is where you're going to be configuring the security rules, the NAT rules. So, for example, if you need to translate from the outside to the inside, inside to outside addressing, this is where you're going to be doing that. Same with security policies. We want to allow traffic from one zone to another zone. This is where you're going to be configuring that rule. So, this section is very important and we're going to go deep into covering every single setting. So moving on, let's take a look at the two final sessions for this video, the ACC tab or Application Command Center tab, as well as the Monitoring tab. We're going to take a look at each one individually. When we click on the ACC tab, you're going to be presented with a real-time application-based monitoring. Your firewall will be able to show you any suspicious activity that has been sourced from a specific application on your firewall. Okay, so let's click on Monitor. and the Monitor tab, you're going to be presented with options to see how your firewall is analyzing, inspecting, and monitoring that traffic. You're going to be able to tell traffic that is sourced to zone, bound from a source zone, for example, to a destination zone. From here, you're going to be able to tell a specific user is going where he's not supposed to be going, all that from this particular session. In our next video, we're going to go deep into exploring the dashboard and customizing the dashboard on your Palo Alto firewall.